Hey, this is Tyler, Theater Design Company. Going to give you an overview on a, a room we wrapped up about a month ago. This will be our theater tour number six. Um, if you follow on our channel, you probably saw a bunch of the videos on this. So we've got three videos on more in-depth construction on this room. And uh, if you can bear with me, I'll give you a little bit of insight on the room. So this was uh, this started as a blank room. Uh, no risers, no stage, no nothing. This is a blank a white room, dirty old carpet, and we converted into this room for a customer. That includes changing the entry, which we'll walk into, to uh, step up before you go into the room. We changed the door opening, and then from that point, you can go back and uh, refer back to our videos to see the construction work. And what I'll do on this video is I'm just going to highlight the work we did, the speaker package in here, the video package, and it'll basically turn into a theater tour. Thanks again for watching. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into this super quick. We've got two seven inch steps. Uh, that brings us our riser height up to the back row as you walk through the door. For the customer's privacy, they've got a, a custom made movie sign there that's lit up with their name. Uh, carpet you're looking at is Joy Carpet Walk of Fame in black. And let's jump into the room. So super cool color on this room. Customer picked the color out. It's one of our favorite colors for a theater room. 120-inch uh, dragonfly screen. So it's a 1.1 gain, acoustically uh, transparent. It's got a 3-inch black velvet border. The price is pretty good on these, and the image quality is actually exceptional for what they are. And then we've got our stage here built. Obviously, we're hiding some subwoofers and the equipment. The room itself has two of the brand new Klipsch Pro 1400 SW subs. And then here I'm highlighting the uh, columns that we built. So these columns are, uh, the front ones here are a little over 96 inches tall. The other ones are 74 inches. And it's uh, Guilford of Maine Onyx fabric. And then as you can see, we put a foam rubber on the back of it and they're Z-clipped on. So they are removable if you need to service. And then left side of the room, we sprayed out the door. All the base trim, door trim, we all we molded that on site. Um, cut it through the table saw, uh, stand, sanded it, stained it. Everything was done on site. Kind of a walk around of the room. Movie poster frames we built. Then you got the typical drop down star ceiling. We've done this on a few jobs. Those panels don't look it, but those are eight foot by a little over four foot long panels. So the star ceiling is eight by 12. Here's some access panels we had to build. If you follow back to one of our previous build videos, there's a furnace behind there, so we had to be able to vent that. Sprayed out the clips rear surround grills. Vent to go into the furnace. There's a furnace room between this and the rest of the home. Kind of going over another one of the column here. Sony 5000 ES projector. It's got one of the strong fine adjust mounts. Some more detail of the star ceiling. And then we did ourselves a little modern door handle there. So we've got a small little rolling rack in there. Little uh, 16U rack. It's got a Yamaha RXA8 flagship receiver. Uh, watt box power. Um, Apple TV's running it, uh, Sony 800, uh, 4K player, and then room on the bottom for a PlayStation. Then behind the screen, we've got Pro 250 in-wall Klipsch. Side speakers are Klipsch Pro 16 RWs. Rear speakers, Pro 16 RWs. And the four Atmos ceiling speakers are Pro 16 RCs. And then we're using American lighting RGB strip lights with Cluse strips. So Cluse black metal strips for the uh, step lights. Row one seating, that's the Revolution seats, a row of three. We're row one dealers. And then here I'm uh, kicking off some of the lighting. So what I'm showing you here is these are the Spectrum four inch can lights. So these are RGBW as well. So these can both do uh, color, color changing, RGB obviously. And they can also do the full gamut of white. 
Here I'm showing you a few different colors. You can set each one to a different color. Maybe you want to have a holiday party. Cove lighting. And then you got the star ceiling. Star ceilings from our go-to Epic Sky. We have switched our RGB controllers over to American lighting at this point. Just kind of showing the stair lighting here. And those are color changing as well. Really highlights the star ceiling there. Couple steps up. And then we're doing uh, Lutron Radio Raw 3 here. So we got a hybrid keypad 4 button and a dimmer next to it. And then here I'm showing you the spectrum app. So this will give you the full color change on the cove lighting, the uh, can lights, as well as the stair lights. Pretty cool because the Rutron Radio Raw just turns the stuff on and off and dims, and then you got the controller to do all your coloring. So you're not playing around with a bunch of different control systems and all that good stuff. And so I got the lights back on, kind of showing off the joke uh, Joy Carpet. There's the Lutron Radio Raw through three with the Clara plate. And I always get a bad time, so here's actually a demo of some uh, video on it with some sound. And so here's a close-up. It's a 4K camera. You know, it's still on YouTube, so but you can pretty much tell how clear it is. A little Mr. Beast going on. So you figure you got a $1,600 screen and a $5,000 projector. It is a pretty amazing image for the money. And a couple still shots of the room. And that'll do it. Hope you like the tour. If you have any questions on any of the gear or just want to know more about it, we've got three videos on it. And thank you much.